Hi everyone, welcome back to my garden. Today's video is going to be on how to select a fruit tree for your garden. Um, I am looking to add another fruit tree to my fruit tree family and I thought I would share some tips on how I'm going to go about that and the process I am doing to help you select the best fruit tree for your garden. So I've already got quite a few fruit trees in my garden. I have around 15 to 16, maybe even a few more. I've lost count but a lot of those are citrus and that is because citrus is something that grows really well in our climate here in Perth. Citrus are a great one to start with because they are quite easy to look after, they're really hardy, they can handle a lot of drought um, and dry weather which we have here in Perth. So I do have quite a few citrus trees and now I want to branch off and get some something a little bit different, something a little bit strange so I'm going to be trying and taste testing some fruit. I think that's really important that when you want to pick a fruit tree that you know if you like that fruit or not, which sounds obvious but it has happened before I've bought a fruit tree and then decided that I didn't actually love the fruit as much as I thought I would. So I'm going to try a few today, some that I've never tried before and I've just picked these up at my local growers market and a lot of these fruits are hard to find because they are things that, that don't travel well so a lot of them you won't find in the shops because they'll bruise easily, they ripen too much off the tree and then they taste overripe. So I think a few of these may taste a little bit overripe because I have um, had them sitting while I was trying to wait for a clear sunny day to film um, but we're going to try them anyway and just know that if I do grow them on the tree they are definitely going to taste a whole lot better so if I like them then I will love them fresh off the tree. So I'm really lucky here in Perth we have a really warm climate so I can grow some subtropical and tropical plants depending on where I place them in my garden. So some tips I have for choosing a fruit tree for your garden is if you have a specific place that you want to plant that fruit tree. Say you have a gap in your garden where you want to specifically put a fruit tree then take a look at that climate, take a look at how much sun it gets, how much shade it gets, how much wind it gets and just take note of that so you when you are looking for a fruit tree and pick something that's going to really thrive with those conditions. This happened to me when we first moved in here. I got so excited to plant fruit trees that I went ahead and planted some fruit trees along this back fence and where I am right now is under a big tree. So that didn't get a lot of sun during the winter and autumn months. It gets pretty good sun during the summer when the sun is tracking higher in the sky. Then during autumn and winter the sun tracks a little bit lower and so a lot more shade is cast over my garden from the trees, from sheds and from other things surrounding it so that is really important to stop and observe where you want to put your fruit tree and what kind of conditions that fruit tree is going to get. So I planted a lime tree which is a citrus, they like full sun and I did plant it in a sunny location but that was only sunny during summer so during autumn and winter it got a lot more shade here in the back fence and I was always fighting to keep it alive. It would do really well and sprout new leaves and be I would get so excited during um, summer and think yes I've got it it's we're on the right track and then come winter and autumn it wouldn't get enough sun and its leaves would drop off it would get too waterlogged and it would fight to stay alive. So I did that for a couple of years and then I just thought what am I doing I need to put this poor tree in a location that it's going to love. So I moved it out the front to a full sun location and it has absolutely taken off. It is like four times the size, it's covered in limes, it's got flowers. I barely have to care for it because it is just in the right location and it's getting the right amount of sun. So citrus like at least six hours plus sunlight a day, that is something to consider when you're planting a citrus tree. Just take note of how much shade, how much sun and think about how that is going to affect it during the year if you have got a big tree or some sheds nearby, fence even, that's going to create a lot more shade and just note that down. Another thing to consider is root systems. So some fruit trees have a much bigger and vast root system than others. So is there anything that is going to be affected by this tree if you do plant it in that location? So is there concrete that the roots may disturb and crack? Um, is there pools, pavers, anything like that nearby that could be affected by a big strong root system? So that is something else to consider. Another one that is good to consider is how much time and effort you want to put into this fruit tree. Some fruit trees are a lot easier and 
lot, have a lot less care involved. You can sort of set and forget um, as long as you feed them every now and then, keep them mulched, keep them watered, they are good to go. And then you have other fruit trees that take a lot more care and maintenance. They need to be pruned correctly. They might attract a lot of birds when they are fruiting. They might need to be netted for fruit flies, for bats, for cockatoos. There could be a lot more maintenance involved with actually getting fruit off that tree. So that's another thing to consider is how low maintenance you want your fruit trees to be. So most of mine in my garden are all very low maintenance. I don't have to net them. There are some that I may need to net in the future, but I've mainly stuck with ones that I didn't have to net. And that is like a lot of the stone fruit you do need to net because of the fruit flies or because of birds love stone fruit. So I haven't got any in my garden just because of that fact that I haven't wanted to use nets and netting in my garden. So that is something else to consider. Strong winds. Here in my garden we do get really strong winds so there are some trees that I have avoided for now um, until my garden is a bit more established and I have some more wind breaks in place. So some trees like one that I'm considering today is the tamarillo or the tree tomato. It doesn't love a lot of strong winds. Bananas again um, aren't the best with strong winds so my bananas have always struggled quite a bit here as well as pawpaws or papaya while they are starting off they're a lot more delicate so it is good to consider how much wind you get and where the direction of the wind is going and can you plant anything in that space that can provide a wind block or some shelter for that tree. Temperature, that's also something else to consider. Does that fruit tree need a certain amount of chill hours to actually produce fruit? There are some trees here in Perth that we just can't really grow because they need a certain amount of chill hours. I know with the um, feijos that I've got, they are borderline here. We can grow them, we are getting fruit off them, but the fruit taste is very different because we don't have the right amount of of chill hours uh, for the feed joers. That's not to say that I can't grow them, it's just that they aren't going to perform at their best. But there are some trees that just really won't grow well without having those colder temperatures. And again, same with the, with the hot temperatures, there are some trees that just won't handle the heat. So have a look at what is your sort of maximum temperatures and, and low temperatures and note that down as well. So when you are choosing a fruit tree, you can just make sure that those tr trees are gonna fruit well in that area. And this can seem all hugely overwhelming if you are a beginner, but something that is gonna make it so much easier is just to note down the shade and the sun in your backyard and then go to your local fruit tree nursery. They will have a wealth of knowledge in what fruit trees grow well in your area with your climate. They will be able to help you and guide you in a direction of some fruit trees that are low maintenance or easy to grow in your area and that way you can pick from those to get started. All right, so let's try some fruit. I'm really excited to try these. Some of these I've been wanting to try for a long time, so let's do it. Okay, so I've got this little fruit platter here, and here I have got, this is a star apple, and I've got two varieties of the star apple, a green one and a purple one. I've got the star fruit, which is something that I've been wanting to grow, but I haven't purchased the tree because I've actually never tried the fruit, so that is something that I really wanted to do first. Um, and it's probably a really high contender on what fruit tree I'm gonna buy, depending on how this taste test goes. I've also got, I've got some lychees, some logan. These are the tamarillo or the tree tomato. And this one here is the mangosteen. So let's try the star fruit. It looks super juicy. This one will be quite quite ripe and it's got the beautiful star shape obviously which is cool mmm it's so juicy it is a little bit sweet not too sweet and a little bit sour so it's a little bit sweet and sour it's so juicy I don't know what it tastes like it's so strange it doesn't I can't think of anything that it tastes like but um, it is delicious it's nice it's refreshing it's not too sweet it's not too sour it's just somewhere in the middle. All right, so let's try the star apple. So that's what it looks like inside. that has got some seeds in this one, which I've kind of cut through. And that's the other side of it. Kind of smells a bit apple-ish. Kind of smells like the star fruit. Let's try this. It's so strange. This one kind of reminds me of like a melon, like a rock melon pretty good again it's not it's quite sweet but it's not like overpoweringly sweet and that is the purple one there's also a green one the green one is a little bit overripe you can see it's a bit bruised 
but again it's got that star pattern it has like really big seeds in it so I'm definitely going to try and grow some of these let's try this one yeah this one is really sweet I think this one is quite overripe it does kind of remind me of like a custard apple or a cherimoya very similar texture very soft and kind of vanilla -y. I think I like this one more than the purple one all right so we have got a lychee which I have tried before but it comes in this little shell here and I just cut that open and then this is the lychee and then inside it's also some seeds and I do love lychee it reminds me of lemonade so that is one that I would like to grow and we have the tree tomato or the tamarillo which has a pretty cool pattern inside as well and these have a lot of pigment like they stain things very easily I ate a lot of these growing up we always had a tree in the backyard so I am well used to the flavor of these they're quite different they do kind of taste like tomato which is weird for a fruit and normally I just scoop them out with a spoon and eat them and I love eating them with yogurt they're like a little bit sour and a little bit sweet they've got so much flavor but they definitely have a tomato -y taste so I can imagine that that some people would not like these but I love them and this one is like the longan which is a top is similar to the lychee it's got the little outer shell which I like it like protects the fruit inside and I do like that about the lychee and the longan um yeah so good it's very it's a very weird texture it has a really big seed inside but it reminds me of yeah like a type of lemonade not like the lemonade fruit at all more like soda really delicious and that is the big seed inside so I'm gonna try and grow all of these seeds of course there definitely was some ones that I haven't tried before which is the star apple and the star fruit and I am really surprised with those flavors I thought the purple one was gonna be delicious because it looks the best but it was a little bit strange but I did like the green one and the star fruit as well it was also a pretty good flavor so I am thinking about getting that but I'm also really liking the idea of a lychee or a longan tree because of these little hard outer shells I feel like they'll be a bit more pest resistant and they are delicious so I might look into buying one of these but I also do want a star fruit tree so I will just see what is available what I can find and see if I can add one of those to the fruit tree family And if you are looking for some unusual fruits or something that you haven't seen around try go to some of your local fruit nurseries and ask them they may be able to order some in or reach out on to, to your local growers there's a lot of rare or unusual fruit tree growers around and groups on Facebook so I've learned a lot from there and yeah try something different but I do highly suggest trying out the fruit first before you buy the fruit tree to make sure that it is something that you love and something that you're gonna want to utilize because it can take a long time to get fruit off some of these fruit trees especially when you buy a smaller tree it can take you know three or four years to get fruit off that tree so you don't want to be pouring in all this love this attention to get these fruits and then find out that you actually don't like them or your family don't like them so I highly suggest giving it a go finding some at your local growers markets and trying them before you buy the fruit tree it is super easy to grow trees you can grow them in pots can grow them along your fence line there are so many places that you can grow fruit trees in your home garden and there are fruit trees that will suit your specific climate and grow so much easier and without feeling like it's forced and that you're trying to keep this thing alive by taking note of your surroundings taking note of your climate and where you want to plant that fruit tree it will make such a difference it will grow so much quicker so much faster and so much easier I highly suggest taking a look around seeing sun and shade wind taking note of any of your larger trees or barriers that might cause shade or restrict growth and yeah take it from there visit your local nursery and get some advice on what grows really well in your area I hope you like this video I hope you are inspired to plant more fruit trees in your home garden thank you for watching make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already I will see you back here next time for another video